guys it's the first of the month august the second we're expecting a big day um hope you enjoy the video if you haven't subscribed please do hit the notification bell hit the like uh, button also comment below i'm very interactive with my community so uh hope you enjoy today hey guys um my first order was uh i've already done two orders so my first order was postmates from mcdonald's it was four dollars and 95 cents i got there and the guy gave me a three dollar cash tip so the next order was a Grubhub and it was eight dollars and some change um and i went to drop it off the lady didn't give the sweet number and she was outside walking her dog so i was inside trying to find going through each suite trying to find this lady and she finally walks up to me so customers if you're expecting orders <laughs> keep your phone handy be on the lookout for your driver um anyway it's been a minute and now we finally got another order we took a doordash um i've only gotten like three orders from doordash two of them were bad um so we took this one it was 650 going about three miles uh so hopefully grubhub and uber eats to, you know pick up and start sending stuff it is the first of the month i'm surprised i haven't gotten more orders uh to start off the day but you know it'll work out it always does and if it doesn't there's always tomorrow so let's drop this off all right guys we're picking up a McAllister's. we had to order it i've never had to order anything from McAllister's. uh it was kind of aggravating actually uh but it's okay it's placed uh it's 15 dollars and something uh i got a screenshot i do believe if i don't i get the screenshot at the end um but anyway um let's go pick it up all right we're taking this doordash order for six dollars and 13 cents it's going to be six dollars and 13 cents it's only going a mile and a half or so so yeah let's go drop this off a lot of time to um or opportunities i should say to actually you know do a walk up with the order for you guys uh, people have met me at the door or it's just not been actually everybody's met me at the door so far even though it says leave at the door sorry about that um so anyway and, and I don't do walk-ups with DoorDash because it's on another phone and then I got food in my hand and I can't have another phone in my hand. It just makes it kind of odd. Okay, let's discuss this order. It's $5 for seven point something miles. All right. Um, I've started using Para again, not for the tip uh, information because it, it's wrong. It's, it's wrong like a lot. Uh, I started using it simply for the fact that I noticed other people we're using it and they actually show the payout, the, the, the pay, not, not, not the payout, the uh, order amount. The order amount's correct. So I've been using that. So this order is saying that it's $44 worth of food uh, for $5. Now, now DoorDash's base pay is supposed to be $4.75 for seven miles or more. Um, well, seven miles. That, that was what their example was. Like if you drive seven miles, the new base pay now is $4.75. So are they hiding a quarter? So so see, Para is saying it's seven dollars and something at the end. Um, I turned it down basically because one, I know that's wrong, and and two, I'm not going to drive seven point something miles to find out that I'm going to get seven dollars anyway, I mean, even if it is right. Um, but it's five dollars. They're hiding a quarter. I've seen them hide a, a pen, no, not a penny, ten cents. So <laughs> so I know they'll hide a quarter. So anyway, um, if you order forty four dollars worth of food and you tip nothing basically uh, you got a problem all right guys well we had a nine dollar 99 cent grubhub order for burger king the burger king i don't like i don't usually take the orders but i figured why not because it was like less than a mile from the drop off i think it was like half a mile once i got there and saw where the address was uh well they're under construction so i had to cancel that i got paid three dollars and 71 cents for it uh we instantly got another order for diablos which is another restaurant which I, I don't really care for, uh, only because they've made me wait 20 minutes. The um, the manager gave me a cup of water, told me to have a seat, and told me it'd be another 20 minutes after that 20 minutes. So let's hope we get better service this time. It's $8.22, so let's go pick it up. If, uh, the recording before the last one got cut off, it's because the sun is so hot. And my phone got too hot and actually shut off in mid-record. It's like 97 degrees right now. We're supposed to have thunderstorms all day, but I haven't seen anything so far. So it's a stop sign. Let's stop. <laughs> well, we got that order for Grubhub. She had her machine unplugged. It was the same manager I've had a problem with in the past. Uh, I was overly nice to her, trying to kill her with kindness. Um, she turned on her machine and it wasn't pulling up, so I handed her my phone, which I don't like 
putting my phone in other people's hands. Uh, especially when I got a new phone and I got a new case that's supposed to be home, uh, arriving today. Um, but anyway, she it was a small order. She was able to fulfill it real quick. So we got to drive here. And um, I don't want you shaking around. So anyway, we got the order done. Uh, DoorDash uh, bell went off when I was in there. Not mine, but hers. And it was just... It's annoying. It just kept going off, kept going off. I can see why some of these people turn these things off, but that's not the solution. Uh, the solution is to go over, see what's going on, put in your information, the time that it'll be ready and all that jazz, and move on with your life instead of just complaining about it. But anyway, uh, she said, uh, I, I told her, that's pretty annoying, isn't it? She said, yeah, sometimes I just turn it off or ignore it. I'm like, that's not the solution. But I didn't get into it with her because... We've had problems in the past with the uh, order. Uh, anyway, anyway, I got this order. We're gonna go drop it off. It's uh, about, I don't know, two and a half miles away. So let's go. So based on this DoorDash order I was just sent, I had to take a screenshot. I guess the max they're really gonna send you is uh, like base pay is five bucks. Cause this is $5 for 12 point something miles. Um, that's absolutely insane. So if you get $7, I mean a seven mile order, just assume it's 475 uh, base pay. Uh, apparently, if it's further, they don't care. They want you to take orders that are further. They're going to pay you to drive more further away. This is a prime example that they're not. I mean, this is $5. Uh, that's all base pay. It's all base pay for 12 miles. It's absolutely insane. And if you're taking these orders, man, you need to like rethink what you're doing because, like, five bucks 12 miles that's going to be at least 30 minutes maybe 40 round trip and you're going to make five bucks i mean how is this even feasible i mean really think about it so i'm not going to bash doordash we're just going to like i'm just discussing it that's all i'm doing but that's absolutely insane that's that's ludicrous all right guys that order was uh grub up it was 16 dollars and some change yeah, it's a little bit of driving but um Nothing's going on. It's a slow day. I think that put me at sixty-eight dollars, and it's uh, it's not good. <laughs> but you know, hey, we'll, we'll recover. I have a feeling at the end of the day we'll be over one hundred and fifty. Now I could be wrong, but I just I just know my market, and I just feel like it's going to be about a one hundred and fifty day. Um, I could be wrong. Uh, it is the first of the month. You know, you would think it would be, but it is slow out here. Um, DoorDash is sending me, you know, the usual orders. There's nothing to talk about there. Um, and uh, just not getting any uh, Uber Eats. Um, getting a few Grubhub. I think we're uh, mostly doing Grubhub today for the most part, uh, which is fine with me. Uh, just, uh, you know, I'd like a return order from this long drive that I'm on. Uh, I don't like going to Jack's, but it's okay. The order went pretty smooth. I actually ordered myself some food, so no worries. Um, but anyway, let's get back on the road here. Well, we're actually on the road. Let's let's get to the next order. I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys, this has been one of the worst days ever. And I'm staying pretty positive. I'm not, I should have gone home. Uh, I don't ever recommend going home unless you just live in the area that you work and you can do that. But um, this is pretty bad. I'm hoping the dinner rush uh, is, is existent. I mean, it's non-existent right now. Uh, it's 440. Um, I'm hoping I get some orders because this has been one of the worst days ever. I mean, that's crazy to have an amazing day Thursday and then today has just sucked. This is the second, what is it, second day of the, yeah, second day of the month. I would think people have money. If they do, they're definitely not buying food. Um, I mean, I'm multi-app. I'm multi-app. We all, we all know that. The people that watch my channel know I'm multi-app. Um, we may not meet our goal today. It's that bad. I think I'm at $68. I am doing horrible per hour. Um, should have called it a day. I've never seen a day this slow before, especially at the first of the month. So um, this is new for me. Um, man, I just, I, I pretty much kicked back in my chair. I, I, I took a nap until one of them woke me up. I didn't mean to take a nap. I was just laying back. Um, but this is insane. I've had my oil changed. No, no, no pings while I had the oil change. I just left it on just to see. Absolutely nuts. Had a guy try to tell me I need new tires on the front. 
when me and dad took them all off the other day and he said I was good for a while. He said the front two are the worst of the four, but he said that I still had like a lot of time left on those two tires. That guy's just trying to sell me tires. Absolutely, absolutely ridiculous. But um, yeah, this is uh, this is something different. That's all I can say. But uh, just uh, I'm just I I don't know. I don't have anything to to share with you guys. This sucks. All right, guys, we got an order for 11:34. For Marco's Pizza, it's going uh, from the restaurant probably about two and a half miles. Um, sorry, I got somebody behind me. <laughs> anyway, still not used to people like watching me while I video or whatever. I know this is kind of close up, awkward, awkward shot up my nose probably. Uh, but anyway, uh, glad to get an order. Uh, we are on the block from 5:30 to 7 on Grubhub. It's not that time yet, so we just luckily got an order. So let's go drop this off. Okay, I uh, did a Marco's order after that Marco's order, Marco's Pizza, and it was $10 and some change. And since then, I have taken a um, double order from Uber Eats for $26 and some change. I have dropped those off, and the total mileage was like 24 miles, but it was carrying me home. So there's no dead miles. I was going this way anyway. I mean, it's a different route to my house, but it's no no further. So I took it because it said it was going to be 71 minutes, and it wasn't. Gig IQ would like this because he, he he goes by time, like he does a lot of Uber Eats per the time it says. So it said it was going to be 71 minutes, which means I should have dropped off my last order from that double order at 7:05, but I dropped it off at 6:47. So it was off by 18 minutes, 18 minutes gig IQ. So, um, yeah, most people probably probably wouldn't have taken that, mainly because they didn't want to go to, to Cottonwood, Alabama, and then have to turn around and come back. I can totally understand that. But I, again, again, like I said in the last video, or the video before last, uh, that I think they send you stuff that based on when they know you're going to go home, I think, sometimes. Or maybe it's just random. I don't know. It, they seem to send me stuff on the way home. Uh, grow up, I had accidentally left it on. They were trying to send me stuff on the way home. So, but it just didn't work out. It was going a different route. But yeah, um, today sucked. I may have broke even. I'm not broke even. I, I may have hit my goal. And there's a good chance that I didn't. So this will be a first where we actually worked the entire day and did not reach our goal. Um, we've had days where we didn't work a full day and not reach it But today may be the first day that we did not reach our goal in almost a year Like I say and that, and that comes with a, a Little pin mark That's only on full days the entire day that I work because I have had days where I didn't make the goal, but It was a special situation like trying to get a uh, 10 orders from bite squad to get a guaranteed hundred dollars or are not working the full day so very very strange day to be the first of the month pretty much second day of the month it's very odd usually people have money now and they, they blow it but I guess they waited till night but unfortunately you know I had a lot of sitting around time today it was pretty boring to be honest with you honestly surprised I didn't go home so real quick I know you saw it in the title I'm gonna react to more finance um, the guy, the guy, he's a great guy, Blake Moore. I think I got his first name right. He put out a poll saying, would you be interested in a three hour, $75 course? Um, if I'm not mistaken, it overwhelmingly got no's, but uh, he's got a lot of hate from people giving response videos. This is not one of them. Uh, he got a lot of hate from a lot of people trying to sell $75 three hour training video um, okay put yourself in his situation people he's, he's 20 years old very intelligent kid very intelligent kid he's doing this early in life and I have to give him props for that I wish I would have got I wish this would have been available when I was his age but you're 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 bashing his video for 
overwhelmingly, or his post for overwhelmingly getting no's. Well, what about the people that said yes? I mean, think about it. Would he, he'd be doing a disservice to people that actually wanted to pay $75 if he didn't put it out just because people said no. You can't just not do things because people tell you not to do them. You know, the poll was there just to see if anybody was interested. He had people interested, so he put he put it out there. So, why don't we just lay off Blake? Uh, he's a good kid. Um, I don't understand it. Um, you guys, we could all learn a lot from this channel. Uh, the finance part, no, nobody else is doing that except for one, one other person. And I'm, I hate that I can't think of his name right now, but uh, I promoted his channel early. Uh, I think it's, his name's William. But I, pr I promoted his channel early uh, when he first started, and he does finance as well. But, back to Blake. Um, God, I hope I got your first name right. Anyway, um, yeah, let's let's ease off on Blake, man. He uh, he's doing what he do he's doing what he does. He's he's helping people out. That's what we all should be doing. And there were people that said yes. So so let it go. There's no need to make negative videos about him or, or be hateful in in the chat. Uh, there's a few of y'all that responded to uh, Pablo's video. Uh, Mushi Moo, I think I, I can't remember what he changed his name to. Uh, Pablo East. He. Uh, you guys, some of you guys that responded in his comments, I blocked y'all. I'm just going to be honest with you. You can still view my stuff, but you can't comment on it. Um, I, I blocked you from commenting on you know, my videos in the future because there were so many. There, there was there was some hateful people in that in that uh, in uh, in Pablo's comments. Very hateful. So um, yeah, I don't want to deal with you if you're hateful. That this is we all should be helping each other out. Um, what he did is not hurting anybody. Like I said, there were people that were interested, so he put it out there for those people. I'm pretty sure he didn't put it out there for the people that said no. So, I mean, just think about it before you comment and speak and make a reaction video. There were people that said they wanted it, so what is he supposed to do? Anyway. Hey guys, I changed shirts. Now it's the next day. Uh, anyway, let's say, uh, let's see. There's a recap from yesterday. Um, it's uh, from Monday, obviously. Uh, but anyway, we ended up doing uh, 11 orders. Uh, we did six six uh, grub hubs for a total of uh, around $70 and um, some change. What is that now? $73. Okay. Uh, we did two DoorDash for $12.63 and we did three Uber Eats for uh, $39.99. Uh, we, we locally made our goal. <laughs> We did 126.31 for the day, and it's all thanks to the people at the end of the day on the uh, Uber Eats that I was waiting on. Uh, they actually tipped more than the original order was $36. So, uh, I mean, it was $26. So they tipped more, and that brought us over our, our goal for the day. Um, it's a rough day, <laughs> I will say. Uh, and I'm not trying to rap or anything. Do I look like a rapper? Although I'm, I've been known to be called White Mike. I don't know why. Some people have called me that before. Yeah. I could drop some uh, bars, man, but I, I ain't gonna do that, y'all. <laughs> Nobody wants to hear that. Anyway, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. Um, hit, I'm hitting things in the road. I was gonna do this last night, but um, I forgot about it. Honestly, I forgot about the tips coming in, and I forgot that I didn't do it. To be honest with you. Um, but uh, yeah, we're we're back out on the road today. Today uh, will be Tuesday, obviously. Uh, hopefully, we make more. Yesterday was just a very odd day to be the first of the month. I've never had a first of the month that bad. I, I don't think. Uh, but anyway, that's all I got. I, I can't really go over the numbers like breakdown. I don't think I can. Let me see here real quick. I'm trying to drive here. Yeah. Oh yeah, I didn't put in my mileage. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I can't. I can't go over it. So anyway. Uh, we did have an oil change yesterday, so that cut into our pay, but that had to be done. I've been putting it off. I shouldn't have. This first time this car has not got the oil changed the exact time it needed it. So, I'm trying not to do that again. I don't like doing that. Um, let's see. We are getting close to 100,000 miles on my car. So, that will probably be tomorrow, maybe today. I'm not sure. Anyway, that's unimportant. 
hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I know it was uh, me babbling on a little bit here at the end, but um, overall it was a trying day and hopefully today will be much better. All right, we're on the block from 10 to 12 and 5.30 to 7 on Grubhub today. So hopefully that works out pretty good for us. Of course, that's what we were on yesterday too. So anyway, have a good one.